Ever wondered what it feels like to ride shotgun in the world of high power politics? Picture this, you've just become a head of state, congratulations by the way, and along with the keys to the office, you're handed the keys to a vehicle so secure it could double as a vault on wheels. Welcome to the elite club of presidential and world leaders motorcades, where every car is less of a vehicle and more of a moving fortress. In this video, we are going to show you some of the most powerful presidential and world leaders motorcades. So watch the video till the end to know what it looks like to ride in a presidential motorcade and what outstanding features they have. All right, on number one, we have this absolutely wild car called the Beast. Yeah, like something out of a superhero movie, but this is the real deal. This thing is like a tank, but with the style of a limo. The first time I saw it, I couldn't believe my eyes. It was like watching a Hollywood movie scene right in front of me. Let me paint a picture for you. The windows on this car are so thick, not even the nastiest bullet can get through. The doors, they're as heavy as an airplane door. I mean, who even thinks of that? And it's been this way since George W. Bush was president. Each president gets to ride in this beast of a car, and it just keeps getting cooler. And the inside, it's like something out of a spy movie. There are tear gas cannons, shotguns, and even a night vision system. And the tires, they're super tough. You could throw everything at them and they'd still keep rolling. When Trump was president, they spent like 22 million bucks for a few of these cars. Crazy, right? But hey, when you're the president of the United States, you ride in style and safety. All right, next up in our world tour of royal rides is King Charles's limousine. This is no ordinary car. It's a rolling piece of British history, as classy and distinguished as the king himself. Picture this. Bentley, that iconic British luxury car brand, is almost as old as the king. And when he makes those rare public appearances, he's not just showing up, he's arriving in style with his Bentley State limousine. Now, get this, there are only two of these elongated Mulliner built limos in the whole world, and both are chilling in the king's garage. Talk about exclusive. Queen Elizabeth II got these 400 HP beauties back in 2002 for her golden jubilee. That's 50 years of being queen. These cars are a bit longer than the Bentley Arnage and come with a hefty 6.75 liter V8 engine. But it's not just about the size or the power. These cars are like fortresses. The doors are designed so the king can stand up inside before stepping out. And when he's inside, you can see him from almost any angle. Now, let's jet over to Russia and take a peek at the Aris Senat. This car is a statement of Russian power and luxury on four wheels. The civilian version of this car costs a cool USD $245,000, but Putin's version, it's like the deluxe edition of a luxury car, armored, plush, and probably with a price tag that makes your wallet shiver. The Aris Senate is Russia's first foray into luxury sedans, boasting 598 horsepower and all-wheel drive. It's like Russia decided to make a grand entrance into the luxury car world and went all out. The car weighs around 7 tons and is a fortress on wheels, ready to take on anything from chemical attacks to bombs and sniper fire. Inside, it's like Putin's personal command center. There's an internal communication system, CCTVs. It's like something out of a spy movie. You half expect it to transform into a robot or something. Next, we have the Honki N501. So, there's President Xi rolling up in his Honki, which means red flag in Chinese. Fitting right? For the chief of the Chinese Communist Party? This car made a splash when she took it to India in 2019. It's hard to miss. The thing is about 18 feet long and 6.5 feet wide. Imagine trying to park that. The Honki N501 has this wide front grille that gives off serious Rolls-Royce vibes. It's like China's answer to those fancy state cars. Under the hood? A 402 HP turbocharged V8 engine. This car can go up to 800 kilometers on a full tank. That's like driving from Beijing to Shanghai without stopping for gas. Now, the weight, it's about 3,000 kilo and heavily armored. The details are top secret, of course. China's not giving away their secrets that easily. Hongqi has been around since 1958, made by the state-owned First Auto Works FAW Group. They're known for making some of the finest luxury cars in China the kind you'll see Chinese government bigwigs cruising around in. 
But here's the catch. The N501 is so exclusive, you won't even find it listed on Hong Ki's official site. It's like this car is playing hard to get. Heading over to next, we have North Korea. Let's talk about Supreme Leader Kim Jong-un's ride, the Mercedes Maybach S600 Pullman Guard. This isn't just a car, it's a moving enigma wrapped in a luxury package. Arriving at the Singapore summit with Donald Trump in 2018, Kim made quite the entrance. The limo? Think James Bond meets the Iron Curtain, a 5.117 HP, bi-turbo V12 engine powerhouse, probably more armored than a bank vault. With a starting price of a cool USD 1.5 million for the standard model, Kim's ride is more state secret on wheels than just a state car. While specific details are scarce, it's almost certain that Kim's Mercedes Maybach is heavily armored. The guard in its name implies a high level of security features, typical for vehicles used by state leaders. This would include bulletproof glass and reinforced body panels capable of withstanding various types of attacks. Moving forward, Let's check the Germany Chancellor ride, the Mercedes S680 guard. This is a like high security vault on wheels, showing that German engineering isn't just about speed and efficiency, but also about unbreakable safety. Weighing in at a hefty 4 ounce 200 kilo, with around half of that weight coming from armor alone, this car is like a mobile fortress. Think about it. Even the windshield weighs more than two heavyweight boxers combined at 120 kiolas and the protection level. The VR10 grade on this car means it can laugh in the face of assault rifle bullets and explosions. It's like Schultz is cruising around in his own personal tank, but with style. And just like those action movie cars, it can keep going even on flat tires and fend off smoke attacks. Under the hood, a monstrous 6.0 liter V12 engine cranking out 604 HP. This car doesn't just protect, it prowls the streets with power. And it's the first of its kind to have 4MATIC all-wheel drive, showing that it's not just about strength, but also about groundbreaking technology. As for the price, a standard Mercedes S680 guard will set you back about USD 650,000. But this version, with all its extra bells and whistles, that's any one of you can guess, and let us know then in the comment section. Next, let's head over to France and take a look at President Emmanuel Macron's DS7 Crossback. Macron made quite the debut with this ride following his 2017 inauguration. Imagine him cruising down the Champs-Élysées, waving to the crowd from a customized open-roof SUV. That's right, an SUV. Breaking away from the traditional saloons and limousines, Macron's choice reflects a modern, versatile approach to presidential transport. Now, the DS7 Crossback he drives isn't just any SUV, it's the upgraded Crossback Elysee. What's the upgrade, you ask? This armored beast is about 20 centimeters longer than the original model, giving it an even more commanding presence. The Crossback Elysee is like Macron's secret weapon in his climate change arsenal. It's equipped with the E-Tense plug-in hybrid powertrain, a nod to eco-friendliness without sacrificing power. Combining two electric motors with a 1.6-liter four-cylinder engine, this machine delivers a solid 300 HP. Debuting in November 2021, the commercially available DS7 Crossback E-Tense is already a piece of art especially the Opera model, which comes in at around USD 74,000. But Macron's version, with all the presidential customizations, it's likely in a league of its own, cost-wise. Lastly, we have the UK Prime Minister's official state vehicle known as the Sentinel. The Jaguar XJ Sentinel has a kind of elegance that sets it apart from other official vehicles of world leaders. It's like James Bond decided to lend his car to the Prime Minister. Under the hood, it's got a 5.0-liter V8 petrol engine, punching out a robust 544 HP. While it may not be the fastest, hitting 0.96.5 kmh in 9.4 seconds with a top speed of 195 kmh, remember, this beauty is armored. It's like a bodybuilder in a tuxedo. Stylish, but ready to handle some serious action. And speaking of armor, this car can take on grenades and bullets from all directions. Even a 15 kilos TNT blast has little chance against its Kevlar, titanium, and steel body. The bulletproof glass, 
That's just the first line of defense. This car is basically a rolling bunker. Now, here's the cherry on top, the rear massage seats. The Prime Minister can literally unwind between those grueling press conferences while cruising around in fortified luxury. The Range Rover Sentinel. This beast also have an escape hatch beneath the rear seats for those just-in-case moments. Powered by a 380 HP V8 petrol engine, this version is a perfect blend of ruggedness and luxury, reportedly worth around USD 543,000. That's all for today's video, guys. What do you think of these vehicles? Let us know in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe and see you in the next video.